Uh, Charlie came, just came hot off a win off of Chag, 3-1, I believe. Yeah, 3-1. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's funny because these two have been playing over at main stage quite a few times. So they're kind of practicing alongside each other. Charlie and Puppe? Yeah, no, Charlie and Chag. Oh, okay. Uh, this is actually the first nice. time Charlie has ever played over. Nice. So we'll see how that goes with this time. She's definitely no stranger to the Pokemon Trainer matchup. Uh, obviously a very common character, so... You know, we'll see what Charlie can do. He's that kind of player who labs out the combos, and every time he connects a hit, it's gonna be big damage. Yeah, he's definitely one that understands like, okay, this is my go from this percent at this angle at this DI. He's always in the lab, honestly. That's kind of what makes him like such an interesting opponent to fight against because he has those unorthodox combos against you that most opponents would not be ready like that. See yeah. right there, because he knew Puppet was gonna land on the platform. Ooh, man, and Charlie King just barely surviving right there. He finds a nair. Cool. He goes for the low angle side B. That should that have connected, would have killed. But he gets the pick up with the up smash. And he's doing pretty good at 95% on his first stock right now. Oh, I like that. He goes upward that way. He can actually with the aerial to come back to the ledge. I'll throw dash attack. 42% already on the board. Back throw. Not enough to take the KO. He's going to make it back with the up B. The puppy was threatening with the down air, the back air potentially. That's kind of what he led nope. to all. Oh, yeah, there it goes. The right time he had it, you know, yeah. angle himself enough to exit the aerial drift, come back on the ledge, oh. portal up throw. Usually, Ooh. portal early percent combos are going to be pretty, uh, pretty nice damage. Yeah, he got one by the ledge, so unfortunately, he wasn't able to extend it much farther. He got about 30 or so damage, yeah. but he, like, Squirtle could easily get 60% on exactly. one grab at zero. Oh, you can try to come back with one there, and of course, we'll probably able to be greatly spaced. Ooh, forward smash by Les and miss. Charlie trying to answer back with one of his own. Ooh. Getting caught by the up air. Puppe already pulling into the lead, making this comeback. And racking up the damage. Ooh. Oh, forward smash. This Charlie's in a little bit of a deficit here because he's the one who's starting the lead here. And then Puppe has slowly turned things over when it comes out to the edge. Part. When it comes to the ground game, right? So far, Charlie's been the one in a bit of a control here. But now that Puppe has definitely turned things over to him, it's, it's kind of hard for Charlie. Has to be careful with Charlie's hard weight, though. Yeah, the space back air. That tipper back here is gonna definitely take uh, the stock off of Charlie right now. He's got the ledge trap. Nope. All right, Charlie's struggling to take this second stock. The dash attack still not gonna be enough. Puppy living until 155 and switching to Squirtle to sneak an air dodge into the ground. All right, back throw. Yeah. Back throw is gonna be enough. Even from center stage, Squirtle, lightest character in the game, and at, a, at that percent. It, it was it's definitely gonna kill. Usually, like if it had been Ivysaur or Charizard, I think it might, yeah, it would have taken a while. Yeah. Play for it again. No, this time Charlie just still flash and check him. Okay, the punish. Oh, 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 I, I respect it too because it would have led to a tech situation, and because of Charizard's size, he would have grabbed him. Okay. Wow, what, a, what a reversal from Charlie. Oh, oh. oh scaring him with the downside at the ledge. He rolls through the up smash. Here's an up throw. All right, Charlie brought this all the way back, man. Definitely one stray hit here or a single confirm. He's looking for the back air. Dash attack on the landing is still not enough. Yeah. Oh, that okay. Was, that was not <laughs> I guess it was enough. <laughs> that was good for Charlie yeah. because he knew that Puppy was so scared that he was going to try to make it to the ledge. So that line on stage and get combo by Wolf. So he knew Puppy had nowhere else to go but go ahead and turn himself off stage. Tech takes them all the way across with the dash attack leading to that demise. All right, with Charlie with one game here. Started off really hot, took the first stock. Puppe bringing it all the way back, and Charlie doing the same in yeah. reverse. He's the one who kind of closed the book, and it comes down to like the fact that, like I said, like Charlie kind of the ground game really well. That blast shot was like, so crucial too, because yeah. it kind of caught Puppe the whole Okay, Let's see what Puppe can make happen in game number two here onto Battlefield. Right, here's the up throw. See, way more damage. And the platform. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting, he went for the up smash. I think if he had kept going for up airs, maybe he, the uh, combo weight for Wolf is a little bit more tricky. Uh, combos have to be a little bit more tight. That was good. Not be just yet. I like the weight. Fair. Oh no, I actually goes for the vine. Forward Smash actually crossing Charlie up onto his shield. Both players playing very patient right now. You can tell uh, it's crucial to take the first stock in this matchup. 
Well, he's the direction where he dodged. Oh, oh. What a turnaround. Holy <laughs> smoke. He says, I won't come back on the stage. I'll make sure you go down with me. Dude, he could have made it back to the stage, but he just wanted to kill Puppe's momentum. Yeah, dude. he really yeah. did. I, we take those, man. Evening out the game. Two stocks apiece here. Even percent two. The forward air off the ledge. Waiting for the air dodge and getting the grab. Very nice start for our Charlie. Okay, punch, uh, punch the side beam. Wow. Dude, that, you know how difficult that is? Usually, Pokemon trainer. Oh, oh nice. Oh, no. Okay, Charlie, unfortunately, an early stock loss right there. That down air is going to spell the death of Wolf, man. He doesn't want to be off stage at all because it's. As long as Puppet can line up that down air, it's going to be pretty much a free stock every time. Yeah. But so far, Charlie's going to make sure things are pretty close to the goal. But as I said, that Puppet's going to slowly coming back to the ledge for throw. Catch his situation and he gets the up because he knows Puppet does not want to hit the ledge when that roll got up. Yeah, re reading the roll in and popping him up with up smash. 33% to make up for here. Puppet putting on even more. 75 unanswered and he's got a potential edge guard. Oh, you get some crap. This is some steamrolling here so far. Oh, no. Missed the ledge. That I, sucks. I feel like he's bossing with a neutral ledge. Yeah, he, he yeah, he did a neutral air dodge. And, I mean, I think if you do it from high enough, you, you, you'll grab the ledge. But he did it so close to the ledge that he just, yeah, he yeah, just he missed it. Missed it. Um, but Pape bring it back, 1-1 one, one now in this set. We're gonna go to town and city. Uh, I do like this, it gives Wolf a little bit more room. I'm guessing Pape probably banned Kalos, yeah. right? So, he doesn't wanna give him that much space. So this is like the next wide, wider stage that he can have. Mm -hmm. uh, it, of course, it is going to allow Charlie to like fade back and use the blaster if he wants to play a little bit more passive. But at the same time, like, if Puppy wants to live longer, he can just switch to Charizard and the bigger Blast Zone so will definitely help him out here while still being able to kill, especially with the platform. So let's see how that plays out. Okay, Puppy trying to get the drag down, but doesn't get a grab or anything else off of it, allowing Charlie to, uh, to get a punish of his own. Dash down, he's trying to in and out of Puppy's range. He gets a grab out of it. Sets up for the back air, trying to see if Puppy's trying to pass up and back to the stage. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going to be a with Yep, he's so close to it, too. Yeah, the Vine Whip allowed him to get to the frame trap, though, on Charlie. And he was able to follow up immediately afterwards. Down air, almost coming into the clutch there. <sighs> oh, my nice. nice. Ah, dude. Okay. Not gonna be anything. Yeah, Char Charizard's way. Still a uh, favorable situation. He gets to put Charizard off stage, allowing Charlie to edge guard. He's gonna re attempt to recreate that right now. I mean, he's up taking, throw. He's taking Charizard all around the whole damn town of the city at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Each corner of the stage. Oh. That's and that cool. Oh, wow. okay, that'll actually do it. The rage on Charizard and uh, the fact that he's so close to the leg. Yeah, and you gotta remember on Town and City, you, you, uh, you're a little bit closer to the blast zone because of how wide those stages are. Yeah. Yeah. There, taking the stock right there. Charlie only taking 12% before evening out the game. I do like the fact that he's trying to get in a punishment situation in Puppet because of the other squirrels and damage and combos. Look at this. So big, but Charlie can really put 77% on yeah. the Puppet. If a betting man would say he's going to switch right here. All right, Puppy, of course, uh, switching over to. Oh my god, the very low to the ground back air. That was. Perfectly spaced and timed by Charlie, taking an incredibly early stock by the ledge, and he has a massive lead right now. Nice there. Jumping over, takes this man right across the stage one more time. Oh, he's good, he's good. Get the ledge, get a little, uh, little fire angle. Oh, that was okay. That, that was that was yeah. sauce there, but unfortunately, like, he you gotta respect it. it, man. At least just putting it in uh, Puppe's, like you know, reminding Puppe, I I will go for this. I'm not afraid. So you gotta be yeah. really careful. All right, trying to catch a uh, potential roll in right there. Puppe not giving him knows a lot better. Yeah, the reason for that roll too is because like Puppe knows like okay, it's better to be at the ledge than to give him a tech roll because Wolf tech chasing ability is super strong, yeah. especially with down smash being such a big factor. So I'd rather come to the ledge than <laughs> this in a situation where Wolf is comfortable. Oh, oh, that was a close tipper back here and the second one. All right, Charlie at 67%. This is an even game by all means. Back throw right here for the edge guard with potentially oh, downer back there. Oh! That's, that's gonna do it, that's gonna do it. Man, yeah. I, 
would say that was a high-rate robbery for that. That game was all of the Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult, man. We did see, like, the early stock come off of the mm -hmm. side uh, with the forward throw. Think and about then it. the massive comeback with the, with the down air right Yeah, there. and it all came out to being off stage, right? Yeah. I feel like that's going to be more fun. As any character would, right, Wolf's recovery is pretty linear, but specifically because you have a flamethrower, you do have spacing with uh, Ivasaur, and then you do have damage with the portal. It does give Wolf a little bit of a run for his money. Go. So game number four here. Charlie the King and Pepe going back to town and city. Up throw, nice, got another up here, slowly the number set. I never been real with you all, guys. I don't myself that this is a high fight I have to say, man. You kind of take Squirtle to the percent where it doesn't feel comfortable because it's a top five lightweight character. Yeah. And then you make your opponent switch to Ivasaur, and you know, that's where it's a little more manageable in terms of weight. They're barely sneaking by the pivot grab right there. Probably having the read oh. on the roll. We use a flash, it's gonna cause a low recovery here, and that's what Charlie was setting up that pleasure for. Barely sneaking by these uh, grab attempts. Uh, All right, you you gotta imagine. I saw Charlie shaking his head. You gotta imagine he's feeling the heat right now, considering how well he's been doing this whole set, but he's been losing these incredibly early stocks. Right? Yeah. If you were to look at the like damage output at the end result screen, I'm sure Charlie has like the the higher percent output. <laughs> It's all about that efficiency, man, and Pumpe showing why he is uh, so highly ranked on the PGR as he yeah. is, right? Like, right whip. Yep. Like you said, right? He's still, he does it. He definitely turns it around here. Starts a small forward air, bringing him to the center stage where he wants to be. But that one from okay, he's gonna have to go for the little flash. Oh man, he goes for the side B. It actually sets up for, for Pumpe to get a uh, two-frame attempt with a down air. Very fortunate for Charlie to survive. I'm surprised he didn't go for back though. That means that it's close, but when you have the edge guard here, that's such a crucial factor. He's gonna, he's gonna. That was clenching, man. All right, he gets a grab right here. Up throw, waits for him to land on the platform. Does he get that up till in? Yeah, he's brought this all the way back at this point. Yep. Nice, jumping onto the platform, up throw. Yep. He's gonna have to force Puppet to find a way to come back to land. That's why Charlie had the back right. set up. That could be up throw. throw. Yep. yep. He's gonna take him up the top with the seismic drop toss, right? Yeah. I think it's actually fly. No, no, no. no it's fly, size, size. fly is uh, his, uh, his upbeat. His original upbeat in Raw, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I, for I totally forgot what his upbeat was like. Yeah, okay, he used to glide. If you remember, like, back in the Pokemon anime, when Charizard did seismic toss, you can see the world form. That was ridiculous. All right, let's go back to the game. Yeah. Oh, oh my attack, God, yeah. attack, attack. Oh, 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 dude, the very end of the up fire wolf actually clipping Pupe, uh, giving Charlie one more chance right here, down throw to the up bear, catching the DI in. Speaking of chance, okay, that chance is closing mighty smaller here. He has to come back on the stage, watch himself here on the end. He's shield. That percent difference is huge right now. Charlie at 116 and really oh. excellent reversal on the beat. That was such a good cross up too, especially for Charlie. Oh. And he reverses it around to get the edge guard. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, he holds the shield that he knows what's going Oh, he's living. He's oh, living. he had the wrong throw. Up throw would have got him killed, but definitely uh. would have put Charlie on a bigger percent. That chase, I like that. Kind of holds himself back. Just want to get hit by a surprise to get up back. All right, F tilt, get him off the stage. Charlie in control that and the good. down that smash. Was that was nice. so yeah. good. He fainted the uh, get up off the ledge. Uh, with He jumped up when Pape thought he was safe. Landed immediately and got him with the down smash. Really Man, good blow, stuff. Blow for blow. I mean, this Pape now PGR, Charlie PGR back in Smash 4. Yeah. So I just want to show that, you know, pa Charlie still has the skill. Oh, he's still got the stuff. Yeah. Honestly, like, Char Charlie's biggest issue from what I am able to tell, like, is that I, mean, I played a couple of friendlies with him before the tournament started. And he said, I just don't know who to play anymore in this game. And he, he did, he did he not want to play. He did not want to play. I, mean, I, he I saw Bord go chic. He thinks Bayo sucks, man. Man, sometimes you got to make the character right. Pokemon just Pokemon. define <laughs> the character <laughs> you yourself. Can see, you can see. Yeah, you can, you see can it. do it. <laughs> I believe in you, Charlie. I do. I think you can do it. You, you can make her better. All right. <laughs>
There we go. So do you know what rank uh, Charlie is in SoCal? Yeah. Off the top of your head? Top 10. Top 10? Top 10. Top 10 in SoCal, number one in MDBA, number 28 on the PGR. This is game number five. This is a down to the wire set between these two players. Uh, I mean, honestly, like the way Charlie is playing, you, you would think like against any other player, he'd win, and that's that's like his play style. He's explosive. Yeah, does all this damage, but Pape makes it count where it matters the most. He puts Charlie off stage. Yeah. He gets those edge guards with the downers, uh, and, and also just uh, taking the stocks with the backers. Yeah, and you being Wolfman too as well. Like you know how to turn some off stage. Let's in hibernation, bro. <laughs> I've been going all Joker recently. Shots to the, shots to the, the, the better pick. Yep. <laughs> okay, gets there. I like that. Look at his different pick. That's one thing that Charlie kind of told me that separates him and Larry a little bit. Larry's pick is a little bit more on point compared to his. But now we're seeing Charlie kind of pick the lead here because he's so far since he's not to really, really well. I'm sorry. I think I have to say, I don't think Wolf's hibernate, but <laughs> speaking of hibernation, he's going to put Charlie in hibernation. Because, yeah. Uh, that up B out of shield. Take that first stock on the Oh! He knows every. Look, that's that's why sometimes you see Puppet go for those you know, like the ledges here or the sides of the stage because he knows Charlie has that center stage on Bob. But if he makes a play for it, things like that are going to happen. Yeah. Nice to go there. And stops himself here for a pickup from the forward area. I like the fact that he doesn't go for that full touch. He just kind of holds himself back. So I'd rather put the forward air combo here. Up throw from Charlie into the forward air. Ooh. Okay, air dodge from Pape goes unpunished. It was a neutral air dodge, so it, was, it, was, it could have even been a bait, right? Like, yeah. He did it from a pretty like safe distance. Nice. the landing here. That's what I'm talking about, right? Pape had every time he made some center play, he play. Nice. Charlie has a lot. Okay, getting caught up by the flare blitz. We're not gonna take the stock from across the stage. Oh, I would have left that scene in empty half grab. That would have that was that was literally what that was for, an empty half grab yeah. to try to go for an out smash. He wanted to take the KO, I mean who could blame him? But Charlie down to his last life now. Pumpe. Okay. Forcing out the air dodge to the back air, catching the landing with a down tilt. That actually could have potentially led to uh, the side B, Clash but I think it? he had too much percent on him at that point. Nice. Puppy uses that opportunity to actually kind of buy himself some time as well, having a speed. Senses the neutral here coming up from Charlie. And then, okay, fine. Let me switch to Ivy Star because I'm such high percent. Oh, oh that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it he sneaks in that down that downer at the very last second. That's kind of like oh, on, he's he's out the back here so well. Dude, that matchup 